want to show you how to install Mozilla Thunderbird on Windows 7. Uh, the easiest way is just to go to their website. You see it's www.mozilla.org slash en-us slash Thunderbird. When you get to the website, there's a uh, download link right here. Uh, just click it. And uh, we're going to come down here and we're just going to select run because we actually want to run it. And it should download. It's, uh, it's about 15 meg. Depending on your internet connection, it could take a few minutes. Um, or it might be fairly quick. So once you've downloaded it, um, the installation should start here shortly. Apparently my security scan takes a little bit. Okay, we'll extract the files and start the install wizard. This first part here, we can just hit next. Okay, we want to do a standard. Uh, and if you don't have a client on here, you can just say, hey, use this as my default mail application. For those, um, for those of you who use Outlook, uh, you obviously probably won't even be doing this. So I'm just going to hit next. Uh, it tells us where it's going to install. I'm perfectly happy with that location. I'm going to hit install. And then now we're going to. You know, now it does its thing. And then at this point, it says, hey, you want me to launch Mozilla Thunderbird now? Uh, you can, uh, we're just going to uncheck that for now and say finish. Okay. So installing uh, Thunderbird was just that simple. And this was on Windows 7. If you're running uh, Windows XP, uh, it may be a little bit different. I'm not sure. I don't have an XP machine handy that I can take a look at, but it'd be very similar. You'll be offered a download. Uh, you can either save or run. Uh, that and once it's installed, uh, you're ready to go. Uh, for for this example, I I, told, I elected not to run it. Um, so when we do the next part, where we uh, add our email address, we'll uh, we'll launch it there and, and go from there.